Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, dear members of the Horasis Visions community, I welcome you to the Horasis Global Meeting. I'm joined by Dr. Dr. Vinod Secker, the chairman and group CEO of Peter Group Malaysia. Peter Group is acting as strategic partner of this event. I will call Vinod in a minute. Under the theme Fostering Shared Humanity, 1,000 of the most senior members of the Horasis Visions community are offered the opportunity to shape the world's post-COVID agenda. Participants will explore ways to overcome the profound economic, political, and social disruptions caused by COVID-19. With the Horasis Extraordinary Meeting, we want to offer the conceptual backbone and action platform to advance the recovery, envisioning and implementing novel business models, new political cooperation, and deep social cohesion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now our great pleasure to call on Vinod Secker. Petra Group is one of the most, or one of the fastest growing conglomerates in Malaysia. Vinod, the floor is yours. Thank you, Frank. Uh, welcome, uh, all guests and participants of, of Horasis's global meeting. Uh, I'm truly honored to be sitting here with Frank. Um, I feel a bit out of place. I'm not quite his status, but uh, you all can strive. Um, but I'm excited, and Petra is honored to be a strategic partner for Oasis uh, in this session because it's probably one of the most critical moments in modern human history uh, in, in where we pivot, in how we move forward. Um, the, the debate, the discussion, the dialogue that is desperately needed for how can we change, how can we move forward with shared goals for preservation of our existence. Uh, and we look at the SDGs, uh, which are wide, uh, if, if everyone looks at, at all the aspects. But the critical element is they all link together because it is only if we address each of these SDGs seriously can we survive economically, socially, politically, uh, in almost every field. Um, and I am excited um, to not just be a partner, a strategic partner, uh, with her races on this, but to be participating with members of my team and to be listening to all the different um, uh, discussions that will go on uh, throughout the day. Uh, it is something that is an important part of Petro Group's business model. Uh, we believe that we make money by lifting communities, lifting people. Uh, we believe we can only continue to make money if we ensure their sustainable wealth creation, sustainable wealth creation. Uh, without it, we will we will cannibalize our own markets and everything will implode. And we, business leaders, are the ones that lose out. So we have to be involved now. We can no longer take a back seat. And I'm excited to be to be a part, a small part, of, of this discussion and this dialogue. And I hope that beyond this global meeting, uh, the leaders that are now attending will take it forward and, and, and look at practical, pragmatic ways of how we can... Uh, pivot in this new situation that has been caused by this pandemic. Thanks so much, uh, Minot. And uh, I have to say, you are a major part with uh, Peter Group and, uh, you know, our endeavor to foster shared humanity. And uh, what you're saying is absolutely right. You know, we have to focus on social inclusion. We have to make um, capitalism work and focus on the new social dimension of capitalism. How would you frame this concept? I know uh, your company, Petra Group, is very much behind this conceptual backbone of um, social capitalism. What exactly does it mean? Well, I mean, I mean let me put it bluntly, very, very simplistically. I, I forgive me if, it, if it's overtly simplistic, because I know we are in very complex times and our problems are very complex. But I think looking at it in a, in a simple way of, of understanding that if I, as a businessman, as an economic leader, I make money by selling a product or a service. I make more money by finding more people to sell my products and services to. Which means I need more people in the middle class. I need more people out of poverty. You see, I want your money, but I can't get your money unless you have it. So how can I grow unless there are more market? If there's more market. So we all, all business leaders, have to play a role in poverty eradication. We have to play however small or large a role we can to push people out of poverty into the middle class because then we have a big market and we make money. That's the simplistic way of looking at it. The other aspect I would add to it is that I believe, you know, we successful uh, economic leaders around the world 
all these economic leaders, you know, we'd like to think we're the smartest people in the room. And in a lot of cases, we are. Why? Because we take companies that are, that are, that are falling, we, we rebrand them, we build them up, we strengthen them, we put better accounting systems, we relaunch them, and we sell more products. We do this always. You know, it's like having a dying duck. We have the best accountants in the world that will rebuild the bones of the dying duck, have new arteries and veins, pump new blood through. Then we have the best lawyers in the world that will write a new certificate and say, this formerly dying duck is now alive and well. And then we have the best communications people in the world that will tell, they'll, they'll basically show the world that not only is this formerly dying duck alive and well, it's laying golden eggs. Now, if we can take a small percentage of that ingenuity and use it to fix a societal problem, to find a solution for a community's ills, imagine what's possible. So it's really about economic leaders and, and, and business, business leaders saying, okay, we can no longer disengage from societal concerns. We must power because our business survives off the community. Our business survives off the environment. A thriving community, a thriving environment means our business grows and gets stronger. So social capitalism is really about dealing with human nature. It's being logical. We want to grow. We want to find things in life. But to have it, we need to have an economy, an environment, and a community that's strong, that's thriving, that's healthy. And I think that's what social capitalism is trying to represent. It's a very strong concept, Vinod, and um, I agree with you. Uh, first of all, business leaders are at the core of social change and following the SDGs, their complexity in their entirety, and to make it happen, to make it very practical and tangible. And I also agree that business leaders have to collaborate with society at large, uh, the political leaders, civil society, uh, NGOs, uh, the media. So everybody, we shouldn't just look into, you know, Uh, one group uh, of society or one part of society, uh, but uh, we have to join hands to make this happen. So, you know, fantastic start um, into the meeting, Wiener. You know, you are setting the scene and uh, uh, we will continue uh, discussing the concept of social capitalism. Uh, thanks so much for that, Wiener. Now, um, let's all join the opening plenary and I wish you a wonderful day and uh, great discussions. And thanks again to you, Wiener. Thank, Thank you, you. everyone. Please enjoy the, the, whole, the whole session. Well, welcome. Thank you so much.